Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Somaliland National Television English News Program. My name is Perhat Sheikh Habib and I'm here to update you with the latest top stories in Somaliland and elsewhere in the world. Here are the news making headlines. The President of Somaliland departs to UK. The President of Somaliland submits the seventh member of Somaliland National Electoral Commission to the Parliament. EU steps up is screening Ebola. The President of Somaliland, His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanio, joined by members of his cabinet, depart to the capital city of Britain, London, where he will attend international conference discussing investing in Somaliland and Somalia. The President held a press conference before he departed where he confirmed that in the coming few days he will be attending a national investment summit and he will meet with world leaders to discuss improving Somaliland investment opportunities. <laughs> Somaliland President His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanyu issues a presidential degree to summit representative member of the proposed National Electoral Commission from the opposition party Wadani. Somaliland President His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanyu issues presidential degree to submit representative member of the proposed National Electoral Commission from the opposition party Wadani. In a press statement released from the office of the presidential secretary, the president accepted Wadani National Electoral Commission nominee. The letter in which the president submitted the nominee of Wadani National Electoral Commission to the upper house of the representative members reads as I would like to submit you here, House of Representative, the name and the CV of the representing member of the National Electoral Commission from the political party Wadani whom was proposed to me. The press statement released from the presidency was signed with the presidential secretary for the media Nasir Yusuf Tahir. President of Somaliland, His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanyu, has issued a presidential degree in which he sacks the deputy governor of Buhola region, at the same time appointing a new governor to the region. President of Somaliland, His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanyu, has issued a presidential degree in which he sacks the deputy governor of Buhola region, at the same time appointing a new governor of the region. In accordance with Act No. 90 and 110 of the Constitution, 
considering the importance of governors for the structure of the regions and identify the need to fill this position, the president appointed Mr. Usman Isa Muhammad to be a new governor from this date. In the meantime, the presidential directive, the president has relieved Mr. Abdelkani Abbas Musa of his duties as the deputy governor of Puholda region with immediate effects as of this date announced. The press statement released from the presidency was signed with the presidential secretary for the media, Nasir Yusuf Zahir. The Somaliland Central Bank governor denied that the recent inflation of the local currency resulted from the newly printed currencies of 1,000-5,000 Somaliland shilling as published by the local media. The governor stated that the local media in the country published reports claiming that the recent inflation of the local currency resulted from the newly printed currencies of 1,000 and 5,000 Somaliland shilling. He pointed out the current inflation has nothing to do with this, but has in connection with the salaries paid. And this is not long-lasting, but will exist in short time where he gave emphasis to substantiate that this price increase is non-existent or limited. Stabilization of extent rate is going to be hard in some times, where extent rates are determined by the market forces. The governor went on to pass on his good wishes for the community in Somaliland that the current price increases will decline soon on Saturday in the next week and the extent rates will get stabilized in its formal standard. On the other hand, he called for the local media to abandon acts of publishing baseless reports with no facts on the ground and ensure prior they make it public. A commemoration ceremony marking World Mental Health Day was held in Hargeisa and attended by the Director General of Ministry of Health director of Vargesa Mental Hospital and organizations that are mandated to assist the psychiatric people. A commemoration ceremony marking World Mental Health Day was held in Hargeisa and attended by Director General of Ministry of Health, Director of Hargeisa Mental Hospital and organizations that are mandated to assist psychiatric people. The director of Argeisa Mental Hospital, Victor Mustafa, who first spoke at the event, suggested people to quit giving nicknames and other names that are hurting the feelings of the people who are mentally ill. He also stated that there is a vast need to establish life skills center for those who are on recovery stage. GRT Head of Programs Abdur Salk Mohammed Warsame and Gavo and GRT Liaison Officer Abdur Rashid Abdullahi also reiterated the importance of commemorating this day and finally confirmed that their organization cooperated with the Somaliland Ministry of Health on supporting and assisting people with mental health illnesses. The Mayor of Bur'a Mohammed Yusuf Murad along with his deputy, visited two main roads that are under construction. He announces that these roads will be temporarily reopened for the public use, since they are used by large number of vehicles. The mayor of Buru, Mohammed Yusuf Murad, along with his deputy, visited two main roads that are under construction. He announced that these roads will be temporarily reopened for public use since they are used by a large number of vehicles, and he stated, These two roads connect the city to the university and the cemetery, thus are used by lots of cars, so we decided to temporarily reopen it for easy access. In addition, this road is 3 km long. The first kilometer is 80% complete and we hope that the rest will be also be completed soon. On the other hand, Buru Local Council Authority and NG Village residents manage to come on a common ground of understanding on the matter of resettling NG residents to secure land for the maternity care hospital that will soon be constructed. The official expressed gratitude to, and to the commitments and understandings expressed by NG residents and defined as, as they put national interests above their personal interests and urge other residents to follow suit. 
also members of also members representing Inji residents confirmed that the resettlement will commence on 31st October. You are still watching English news program on Somaliland National Television. And now for our international headlines in detail. EU steps up its screening as Ebola fear spreads. UK government announces tests at London's airports and train terminal after suspicious death of Princeton in Macedonia. Health authorities in many European countries have been preparing for the possible arrival of suspected and confirmed cases of Ebola, flowing guidelines is issued by the World Health Organization. The British government announced on Thursday it was stepping up this Ebola screening at airports, responding to the growing public fears about the spread of the virus to Europe and flowing reports of the death of a British citizen in Macedonia. The government announced that screening will start at London's Heathrow and Gatwich airports and at the Eurostar train terminal. British authorities said travelers from Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea will be asked about recent travel who they have been in contact with and their own world travel plans. Medical assessment could be given by train staff on site. The Russian Emergency Ministry displayed on Thursday a Russian plane designed to transfer any infected Ebola patients. The ministry has also offered help to European states to work with those who are infected with Ebola. The news of the unidentified Britain's death in Skobia on Thursday, chemists as the head of the World Bank and West African leaders warned that the virus threatens the entire African continent. Health officials in the Macedonian capital, however, cautioned that the diagnosis could not be confirmed until the German laboratory had completed this analysis. Britain's foreign ministry in London said it was investigating the case. The British citizen was taken to Scobie Hospital for infectious diseases after the hotel where he was staying called the emergency services. Macedonia's health ministry spokeswoman Jovanka Kostafoska said he complained of his stomach pain and refused to eat or to see a doctor, she said. The patient was admitted to the hospital and passed away shortly after. Officials said the man's symptoms and the speed of which they defiled led them to suspect Ebola. That's the end of our English news desk on Somaliland National Television. Until we meet for the next time, goodbye.